Hello, and thank you for tuning in to StageCrafters Youth Theater's production of Goosenapped. With the Baldwin Theater being closed due to the coronavirus pandemic for over a year, we're excited to bring you this family-friendly whodunit to enjoy in the comfort and safety of your own home. Instead of purchasing a ticket for this production, we ask that you please consider making a donation to StageCrafters. Donations received from this production will help to benefit the operational costs of the theater so that we can resume in-person productions when it is safe to do so. You can find the link to donate in the description or by visiting www.stagecrafters.org. No amount is too small or too big. Any donations are greatly appreciated. We thank you for your support and we hope to see you in the Baldwin soon. Enjoy the show. There are a million stories in the book. This is one of them. My name's August, Joe August. I'm a cop. I work out of the fairy tale precinct, nursery rhyme division. It was Tuesday when I got the call. Seems that Mother Goose was missing. That meant trouble. Fairy tale world can't survive without Mother Goose. Someone had to find her. That's what I do. I'm a cop. Somebody somewhere knew something. I started by making calls to the usual suspects. Hello? Are you Jack? I don't know. Who are you? I'm Joe August. I'm a cop. It's what I do. Who am I? You don't know? No. That's weird. I don't know who I am. You're Jack. Jack. Cool. You really don't know who you are? What's the last thing you remember? I went up the hill to fetch your pail of water. Where's the pail? I don't remember. Were you alone? I don't think so. Who was with you? Jack, oh Jack, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Are you okay? I think so. Who are you? Who am I? You don't remember either? Jack, honey, it's me. It's Jill. How are you doing, Jill? My name is Jack. I know who you are. Good. One of us should. Jack, I'm your sister. I have a sister? Yes. Awesome. You don't remember what happened? Looks like Jack fell down. Broke his head. You mean crown? What? Crown means head. It sounds better if you rhyme. Whatever. So Jack fell down and broke his crown. I guess. Who are you? Joe August. I'm a cop. A cop? Fairy tale precinct, nursery rhyme division. What are you sorry for? What? When you first came on, you said, I'm sorry, Jack. What are you sorry for? I never said that. Yes, you did. That you can remember? You said you didn't mean it. Didn't mean what? I, uh, I just, I didn't want Jack to get hurt. Where were you when your brother was tumbling down the hill head first? You mean crown first? I was with him. No, ma'am, you weren't. You weren't? Not today. Sure I was. Don't lie to me, ma'am, just the facts. Okay, so I wasn't with him today. What's the big deal? I go with him every day. Every single day I go all the way up the hill to get water. Seriously? Who puts a well on top of the hill? You put the well in the valley or near the house, not on top of the hill. Who would do that? Mother Goose. She created this world. And it's stupid. I hate it. You hate Mother Goose? Hey, I didn't ask to be written, okay? But it's her world. She's the head honcho. You mean crown honcho. Head honcho. In this case, the alliteration sounds better. Whatever. We all have to play by her stupid rules. It would be nice if you didn't have to do what she said, huh? That would be great, just for one day. I see. Why do you care? I'm looking into the disappearance of Mother Goose. Mother Goose is gone? Yes, and so are you. Hey, you don't think I had anything to do with this. Where were you just now? I can't tell you that. If you don't have an alibi, ma'am, you'll be a person of interest in our investigation. I didn't do anything. We can do this the hard way. You don't want the hard way. I, um, I can't, I don't want. You're in trouble, ma'am. Where were you? All right, fine. I go away for a little while and Jack falls down. Typical. Where were you? I was off seeing my boyfriend. I see. This boyfriend have a name? Why? I'll need to talk with him. You, no, you can't do that. I'll get in trouble. Ma'am, you are in trouble. What's your boyfriend's name? Um, uh, uh, 
Georgie Forgy. Thank you, ma'am. I'll just have to check out your alibi. Whose alibi? Is that our dog's name? Do we have a dog? Am I a dog? I told them to stay by their devices. I need to talk with them again, and soon. Meanwhile, I called Georgie Porgy. Aw, gee, Georgie Porgy, you're the greatest. Nah, baby, you is the greatest. Aw, Georgie. Georgie Porgy, I thought I was the greatest. Nah, dollface, you is the most interesting. Aw, Georgie. We, we love, love you, you Georgie. Georgie. Mr. Puddin' and Pie. Please, Mr. Puddin' and Pie is my father. Call me Georgie. Okay, Georgie. My name's Joe August. I'm a cop. It's what I do. I need to ask you a few questions. Can it wait? I'm in the middle of a Zoom meeting with my peeps. Hi, I'm Bo. I need to ask you about your girlfriend. What about me? What about me? Not either of you. His other girlfriend. <gasps> Georgie Porgy, you got yourself another girl? Nah, peep, I didn't. You said I was the only girl for you. And that's what you told me. Listen, baby, doll face. I can't believe I left my sheep for you. You left them? I thought they ran away. I abandoned them. I'm a horrible person. Georgie Porgy, I never want to see you again. Listen, sweetie, muffin top. I thought you cared about me. I never want to see you again either. So, Georgie Porgy Puddin' in Pie kissed the girls and made them cry. I need to ask you about Mother Goose. What about her? She's missing. Well, I don't know nothing about that. Jill said she was with you when it happened. Could be. I don't know when it happened, but yeah. Okay, fine. I was with Jill in the morning. And then? And then I was on the road to St. Ives. Anybody who can vouch for that? I met a guy. You get a name so I can verify your alibi? Nah, but dude had seven wives. Seven! And each wife had seven sacks. And each sack had seven cats. And each cat had seven kittens. It was crazy. Did you ask for a name? Nah, I just ran away. Why? I gotta, okay? It's what I do. Run away? Yeah. What? You think I like it? I don't. I hate it. Then why do it? I gotta, don't I? On account of Mother Goose. It's her world. I gotta run away every time the boys come out to play. You know, I never played stickball once in my whole life. And you'd like to. Heck yeah. I'd do anything to play ball or marbles or maybe try that PlayStation thingy I keep hearing about. But nah, cause a stupid old Mother Goose. If Mother Goose were gone, you think you could do what you want? Yeah. I see. Subject and St. Eyes all day. No, not really. So where were you the rest of the day? I don't gotta tell you nothing. You just admitted you wanted Mother Goose gone. You're my number one suspect. Okay, geez. I was hiding. Why? Cause all the boys came out to play. Where? At a farm, up the road. Old McDonald's in a haystack. Anyone who can verify this alibi? That one kid with the horn. Little Boy Blue? That his name? He can vouch for you. Nah, he's asleep. Kid can sleep through anything. I mean, his sheep's in the meadow, his cow's in the corn, and he snores like a woodsman. It's creepy. But the farmer's wife caught me hiding in their haystack and run me off with an ax. The farmer's wife? From the farmer up the road? Yeah. Look, I gotta go. The Goyles is real upset with me. Georgie had a motive, but I wasn't sure if he had an opportunity. I needed to check his alibi, and I knew a guy who went to St. Ives all the time. Hello? Sir, I'm Detective August, Fairy Tale Precinct, Nursery Rhyme Division. Yeah, so? I'm investigating the disappearance of Mother Goose. I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm so late. We have to get to St. Ives. Just a few questions, sir. Here, talk to one of my wives. Hello? Hi. Are you his wife? One of them, anyway. He has more than one wife. There are seven of us, and we are so very late for St. Ives. Let me quit it. Are you all right, ma'am? The cats are getting restless. You have cats in that sack? Seven. And every cat has seven kittens, and I have seven sacks, and we are very late for St. Ives. I won't keep you. Just a question. Did you see Georgie Porgy today? 
That little boy with all the girls? Yeah, he ran into us on our way here this morning. Meatball, quit it. Is this about Mother Goose? What about her? I heard she was missing. How'd you hear that? Um, news travels fast. Do you think she was goosenapped? I'm not sure. I'm not even convinced she's truly missing. I'm just following the facts. Well, I hope you find her. Snowball, please stop. So, Georgie Porgy had an alibi for the first part of the day. I needed to see if he spent the afternoon at the McDonald farm, like he said. Yellow? This the McDonald farm? Yep, reckon it is. And are you the owner? Yep. Your name, ma'am? MacDonald? M-A-C? Yep. And first name? Old. Old? Yep. Your first name is Old. I was named after my grandfather. Can you spell it? O-L-D. This here's the wife. Ma'am. Hello, I'm Frida. Frida. F-R-E-I? E-I. Oh. Did either of you see a young man on your property? Boy Blue there, asleep in the hay. <sighs> that boy never does his work. Anybody else? Not that I recollect. Ma'am? No. So you didn't chase a different boy out of your haystack with an axe? I would never do such a thing. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you do have a history of violence. That's not true. Two years ago, you were arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I was never convicted. You willfully attacked three mice. They ran after me. You cut off their tails with a carving knife. It was self-defense. They were blind, ma'am. Well, I didn't know that. Little creatures scurrying everywhere. I had just had enough. Enough of what, ma'am? Of this life, with the mess and the smell and the noise. All night long, there's a moo-moo here and a cluck-cluck there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. You said you liked pigs. I said I like bacon. I just can't take it anymore. You want to leave. But I can't, can I? Oh, no. I'm the farmer's wife, so I have to stay on the farm. Stupid Mother Goose created a world where we have no choices. And you'd like it if she were gone. I wish for it every night on Starlight, Star Bright. Looks like you got your wish. Mother Goose is gone? Do you suspect foul play? Mother Goose is gone. I had nothing to do with that. Where were you earlier, ma'am? <sighs> like you said, chasing that porridge boy out of our hay. Reckon little boy Blue saw me. So now the truth comes out. And before that? We were down the lane delivering a pumpkin. Reckon it took a few hours. Anyone who can verify that? Hey, up. You can talk to the man we done sold it to. You get a name? Peter. Peter? He's a pumpkin eater. Thank you for your time. I may need to speak with you again. Seemed like Mother Goose had quite an enemy's list. I wasn't sure why. She'd always been good to me. But right then, I was tracking down a pumpkin. Yeah, what do you want? Are you Mr. Pumpkin Eater? Hi, yes, that's right, it's him. I'm his wife. Hi, hello. What if I told you about talking to strangers? But I never get to meet people. This is why. But Peter. I don't want you talking to nobody. But Peter, I think. You don't think, I think. Now get back in your pumpkin. But Peter, why can I stay in the house? Because I can't keep you there. But I don't want to go in the pumpkin. Don't argue with me. But it's cold and gooey and smells funny. I just paid a lot of money for that pumpkin shell, and there I'll keep you very well. But Peter, I think that... What did I just say? I do the thinking for both of us. Take my advice, pal. People need to think for themselves. Yeah, why don't you mind your own business, girly? This is my business. I'm a cop. It's what I do. And I don't like how you're treating your wife. Where'd you get this pumpkin shell? Got it from a farmer up the road. Just now? A few hours ago. Took a while to scoop all the junk out of it. He wants me to live in it. Why? I can't keep her anywhere else. Leave it to Mother Goose to, to stick me with some wacky dame. I'm trying to be a good wife. I cook, I clean. You're a lousy cook. Why couldn't Mother Goose hook me up with some other dame? Like who? I don't know. That Bo Peep's kind of cute. So you've been here for several hours cleaning out this pumpkin shell? Is that true, ma'am? What are you asking her for? She don't know nothing. Ma'am? Besides, she disappeared for a few hours. Is that true, ma'am? Um... Where were you? I told you I couldn't keep her. Who were you with, ma'am? Nobody. I won't tell you. Really? Well, let's log in and see who you've called recently. 
Hello? Humpty Dumpty, you've been seeing my wife. You told him? I'm sorry, Humpty, I didn't mean to. Are you Humpty Dumpty? Yes. What are you doing on the wall? I don't know, it's what I do. We all have things that we have to do that we don't want to do. And you don't want to sit on the wall? Hey, I have dreams, ambitions, but I'm stuck here. I see, what's that? I don't know, it's been going on all day. Big ruckus at the shoe. The shoe? Yeah, the shoe. I see. Have you seen Mrs. Pumpkin Eater? Why? Just answer the question, sir. Was she there earlier today? Yes. I knew it. Peter, Peter. Don't Peter, Peter, me, me. Scramble you up good. Is that what happened to you? Hey, I didn't touch him. No, I fell. See, he fell. I had a great fall. Oh, Humpty, did you see a doctor? I saw all the king's horses and all the king's men. They were no help. You need a doctor. Hey, they're not covered by my insurance. We really need a single payer system. So what were you doing with my wife? Peter, he was teaching me to cook. To cook? To cook. You cook. I told you, I have dreams, ambitions. I want to be a great chef. You were learning to cook? Yes, I know I'm not very good, but I want to get better. I want to make you happy. You do? Of course I do. I love you. You do? Yes. Aww. So, Humpty, you can verify her alibi? Yes. All right, I'll need to talk with you all again. Stay close to your phones. This isn't over. Seemed everybody had a motive, but nobody had an opportunity. But I wasn't going to let this go. And that's when I got the text. A ransom note. This is the note I received. A ransom note for Mother Goose. They wanted 10 bags of gold. I knew where I had to look. Who needed the money most? The same person Humpty said had a big ruckus. Tommy, stop jumping on the bed. Elizabeth, stop kicking the wall. Daniel, get those out of your mouth. You don't know where they've been. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Sorry, ma'am. Need to ask you a few questions. I'm very happy with my internet provider. I don't need any insurance. Not those questions. You're not from the Census Bureau, are you? No, ma'am. Goodness. Is this your home? Yes. You live in a shoe? Yes, yes. It's a shoe, a shoe. I'm a single mother on a budget. Do you think I live in some fancy boot? Or one of those posh strapless sandals? Stop that! It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Do you live alone? Huh, I wish. Who lives here with you? My children. How many children? I have so many, I don't know what to do. All those children are yours? Yes. Ma'am, I've got a report. There's been a lot of screaming over there today. Yeah, we call those weekdays. Can you tell me what the screaming was about? I don't know anymore. I tend to block it all out. If you keep making that face, it'll freeze like that. And then we'll have to sell you to the circus. Do you know what the yelling was about? I'm doing the best I can. Do you think it's easy being a single mother living on a fixed income? Do you think I ask for this life? Talk to that goose. Mother goose? Yeah. I just wish I had a bigger place, size 13 or something with enough rooms and the heel, but no. I'm written this way, and I'm stuck in a life I didn't ask for. Could kill Mother Goose for this. Did you? What? No, of course not. When's the last time you saw Mother Goose? A few days ago, she came to get a bunch of cats. You have cats? I have kids. They collect cats, puppies, goldfish, hamsters, guinea pig, and an iguana. Mother Goose cleared out a bunch of our cats. Thank you, ma'am. Stay close to your phone. So, all the pieces fell into place. Have you figured it out yet? It was time to gather all the suspects and tell the truth about what happened to Mother Goose. Thank you all for coming. As you know, Mother Goose was goosenapped. Nearly everyone here had a motive to see the old girl gone, but everyone seemed to have an alibi. Well, maybe nobody did it. Maybe, or maybe nothing really happened to Mother Goose. But you found a ransom note. I did. Didn't you? Yes, but it was a private text message. How did you know? You must have mentioned it. I didn't. And the text didn't come in until after I told you I wasn't sure Mother Goose was missing. You were trying to throw me off the scent. No, I wasn't. Sir, where are your other wives? I told them to wait for me. And they did? Awesome. Why should you do what they're told? Peter? I'm just kidding. And what's this wife's name, sir? Um, Brenda. No, but you don't look like Patty either. Cheryl? Bonnie? That's weird. Why didn't I know your name? Because, sir, 
This is not your wife. This is Mother Goose. Yo, wait a sec. Hold it. Does anybody know what's going on? Wait, she's Mother Goose? Yes, dear. I'm afraid so. Hi, how are you doing? I'm Jack. Everyone knows who you are. Except me. I broke my crown. I broke everything else. But why would you do this? I just wanted to get away. But why? You aren't the only one stuck here, year after year, generation after generation. I haven't been anywhere. The owl and the pussycat go out to sea, some go to the market, some go to Babylon. The cow even jumped over the moon. But I just stay here, a prisoner of my own making. I haven't been anywhere, ever. I wanted to get away, see something, at least St. Ives. You had never been to St. Ives? Not before this. It was nice. Eh. But don't you fly on a gander whenever you want to wander? Yes, I fly on my gander, but I never go anywhere. I just wanted to see some of the great big world. There's so much more than just our little slice of the planet. You don't get to see your world? No, I'm always here. For generations, it's just the same story. Over and over and over. And now I see you all hate the world that I've created for you. Wait, we hate the world? Yes, don't you remember? Not much. I just wanted to get away. By going with me? Yeah. Aw, that's sweet. Isn't it, honey? Yeah, okay, fine. Sweet. So, I guess that solves the mystery of what happened to Mother Goose. Wait, wait, so you're not his seventh wife? No, dear, I was just pretending. And you have six wives waiting outside? Each with seven sacks, and each sack still has seven cats. Yeah, I got an A in calculus, but if you have six wives waiting outside, and she's not your seventh wife, then what happened to your last wife? Um, I don't know. So your seventh wife is missing? Um, I guess. What happened to his wife? I don't know. What did you do to her? I didn't do anything. You said you'd do anything to get away from here. Yeah, you did say that. That, you remember? Did you hurt her? Did she have a great fall? Did it involve a carving knife? I didn't do anything. What did you do with my wife? Stop, stop. Leave her alone. She didn't do anything to your wife. I'm your wife. <gasps> Wait, you're his wife? Yes. Couldn't keep her, huh? Honey. Oh, don't honey me. Why would you do this? What's my name, huh? What's my name? Brenda. No. Cheryl? Bonnie? No, no. It's Josephine. See? This is what it's like. You don't even know my name. I always just thought of you as Seven. Seven? That's not even a name. But it's easy to remember. That's no excuse. She's right, dear. I think I messed up with all of the Jacks and all the Marys. Oi. Hey, I'm Jack. I thought it'd be easier to keep track, and I think I was wrong. You all deserve so much better. You all should be able to follow your own stories. Exactly. I got tired of going to St. Ives back and forth and back. I mean, how many times can you eat at the same restaurants and hit the same gift shops? I wanted more. We could go someplace else. I hear Bermuda's nice. It's not just about going someplace. It's about who I want to be. And who do you want to be? Me, Joe August. I like being a cop. I like solving mysteries, and I think I'm pretty good at it. That's what I want to be. I want to be a chef. I'd like to get off the farm. I'd like to hire a nanny. Maybe you all could. It's time you all start telling your own stories. Because that's exactly what Mother Goose and I did. See, when Mother Goose wanted to see the world, or at least St. Ives, and I was tired of always going there, we decided that she could take my place, and it would free me to pursue criminal justice. It was a brilliant plan. That way you could both do what you wanted. Exactly. But. If you knew she was Mother Goose all along, then why did you start investigating her disappearance in the first place? I don't know. It's what I do. I'm a cop. But it just doesn't make any sense. You're right. It doesn't. I just did what I had to do. Like we all have to. Because we're part of Mother Goose's stories. Yes, 
but I was following a new story. A new story? Yes. It felt like before, doing what I had to do, but this time, I was doing what the new story told me to do. Do you know what that means? Somebody's been messing with my stories. Your stories. Making us do what they want us to do. But who could do such a thing? It's a mystery, but don't worry. I'm all over it. I'll solve it. After all, it's what I do. My name's August, Joe August, and I'm a cop. Thank you.